hello and welcome back to my channel my name is diana thank you so much for coming back today i'm super duper excited as you can see i'm all dressed up dolled up because it is mother's day and i'm going to be baking today i'm going to be making my mama a cake okay so as you can see here i have my little ensemble of ingredients and i'm going to show you all of that in a minute but I would like to say that if you've not watched my previous video, please remember to watch it. Also, please remember to subscribe, to like, to share, and let's get it going. So I have my flour here, my cake mix. This is the Betty Crocker brand. It's velvety white. And I've never used this before, but I see a lot of people using it. So I decided to get me some. And we have the Betty Crocker Rich and Creamy Frosting in the flavor vanilla. Again, I've not used this, but they go hand in hand, which is great. And then I got a very cute baking tin, which I got from Carrefour also, but all these other ingredients I still got from Carrefour. Eh, is it Carrefour or Carrefour? I don't know, but that is it. <laughs> and I have this baking tray, which I really love because I love the color. Also like the size but I also have my clear one over here but because I don't know how it will measure I'm just going to have both in here just in case and then we have um, three egg whites 80 ml of cooking oil and we have one and a fifth of a cup of water but don't worry I'm going to write all the ingredients in the description box and you won't have to fret that you've forgotten what i've just said so they're going to be all there and i just want to get to mixing and then i'll see you back in a bit i'm mixing all our ingredients together at the same time i'm preheating my oven to 180 degrees for 10 minutes we are going to use both the top and the bottom setting and while i'm mixing maybe i should mention that the betty crocker box cake box actually has ingredients here and it even has the the ingredients and the recipe at the back of it which i really think is very convenient uh, in case you're like a newbie into baking like myself you know it saves you a lot of time so my oven is preheating as i mix the cake cake mix together and i must say it kind of smells good Smells good, I'm excited. So mix away, mix away, mix away. Yeah. Whoop it up, whoop it up, whoop it up, whoop it up. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, let me stop. Mix it, mix it. It smells like some type of ice cream. Like vanilla. It smells good. It smells really good. Okay. So mix away. And I'll see you in a bit. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're mixing. I hope you're mixing. I've decided to use a fork. I don't have a whisk because I can see it's mixing better. And this bowl is really big. So I've decided I'll use my clear um, baking tray. I'm a bit disappointed, but it, it's okay. It's okay. We'll use it next time now that we are about to become professional. Okay. So mix away, mix away. My oven is almost done preheating. Might just hear the ding when we do this. Cake batter looks nice, smooth. And guys, you can taste the cake batter. It's okay because I'm doing it. Mm. It's good. Can't wait for the final result. I should mention that being Mother's Day today, I'm going to get, I'm going to try getting my mom some flowers. I'm going to get them at a place I know near Spring Valley, the hotel, Spring Valley Hotel. So while this cooks, we're going to drive up and buy the flowers and come back home because it's 40 minutes. It's good use of our time. And lastly, I'd like to mention is that we are going to record my mom's reaction. We're going to see how she feel about the cake, whether she like it, and all that. So please stay tuned to watch that. Okay, so 
seen it. All done with the mixing. Preheat my oven. This is how it looks in my beautiful baking tray. Now we're going to pop it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes at 180 degrees. Be careful, it's, it's hot. It's hot up here. I put it in the middle of my oven. In the middle. That. So now I'm just going to add 40 minutes to the timer. Let's do 45 because I'm not sure. But yeah, so excited. So now let's head out and go get mommy some flowers and maybe a card. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I gotta take a quick video of the flowers here. They are they look so pretty, super super proud of them. I got them from this place that is opposite this place that is here <laughs> but directions but that's the best i can do but yeah there are the flowers now we head home if you want to know how quick that little flower run was look we still have 10 minutes on the clock so waiting for it to get done and then cool it and do the frosting okay we are done let's open there it is i'm going to stick uh something inside and see if it's done so I'm sticking my knife in. It should come out clean. Yeah, nothing on the knife, so. It is ready, woohoo! So I'm taking out the cake. You can see it is ready. It smells so good, the house smells like. Oh wow, look at that guys. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> so, we are going to put it there to cool for about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes, so that we can put the frosting. But already I can tell, not too bad. I, I actually did a good job, okay? <laughs> so, I'll see you in a few. Um, stay tuned. Okay, our cake is now cooled. We're going to open up our frosting and do the frosting. This is why I'm excited. I want to know how this <laughs> frosting tastes. I feel like dipping my finger inside. Okay. So the frosting package also has the instructions on how you're supposed to do the frosting. So I'm going to scoop some. I don't think I'll need all of it. I'm going to scoop some and then you know, like lather it somehow all over the cake. Okay, it looks good. So I've done like two large scoops. So let's try and cover the cake now. Again, I'm not a profesh baker, but we could add a butu and we learn something and something new every day. So this is something new for me today. It's exciting. Love it, love it, love it everywhere you go. Smells good too, so that's good. Um, I am going to continue doing this, and then while you do yours, <laughs> and then I'll see you in a bit once I'm done. Okay, I'm done. It looks a bit messy to be honest, but you know what counts? It's the thought. So I've covered up my vanilla frosting 
it says you can keep it up to 30 days after if you have any leftovers so i'm definitely going to buy some more cake mix i'll make some more cake uh right about now okay one thing i like i love to taste so i'm going to taste this mm. this frosting is good i could eat that like straight off the dub but i won't let me show you my cake there it is okay you see it looks like a my mom loves me that's it so i'm going to wipe it off wipe off the edges just a bit to make it a little bit smooth and cleaner and then we're going to head on home and surprise dear mommy surprise my mom i've told her to close her eyes are they closed yes okay hiya surprise thank happy you. mother's day thank you very much you're welcome thank you mom